Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of Pulp Crazy. I'm Jason Aiken. This week I will be discussing the short story Isle of the Undead by Lloyd Arthur Eschbach. This story appeared in the October 1936 issue of Weird Tales magazine. It was also the cover story this month, with art by James Allen St. John depicting a scene from the story. There is also one piece of interior artwork, but the artwork is unsigned, and I'm not able to determine who it is. If you know, please leave a comment or email me. The story itself is pretty interesting, and a lot of fun. The main characters are Clifford Darrell and Vilma Bradley. They are a young couple who are enjoying a night of yachting with friends, Clifford has recently purchased the yacht called the Ariel from a man named Leon Corio. Corio sold the yacht to Clifford at a bargain, with the only catch of Corio staying on as the captain. Their night at sea becomes much more exciting than either of them expected, when an ancient supernatural galley ship, crewed by undead pirates, attacks their yacht. They are even more surprised to see that Corio is the one pulling their strings. The group are abducted aboard the galley and are taken to a mysterious island, with Corio following with the aerial. Eschbach does a great job of describing the island. The island entrance is a cave in the shape of a skull. The plain is covered with dead trees and leads to a black castle. It is here where Cliff witnesses the castle masters perform their blood rituals. The masters of the castle are five vampires. I won't go into any more detail, because I don't want to spoil the story should you decide to read it. And I think you should. It's not very long, and it's readily available for free from a few websites. This is due to the story being in the public domain. I became interested in reading this story after I saw the cover while looking at old Weird Tales covers that had Conan stories in them. I think this is a testament to the timelessness of John Allen St. John's cover art. I really enjoyed this story. Eschbach writes a pretty good Weird Tale. Some of his descriptions remind me a lot of Robert E. Howard's, both in describing the haunting scenery as well as the sorcery featured in this tale. I was surprised to see he didn't write more for Weird Tales. It looks like this was his only story published in the magazine from the 1930s through the 1950s, although he appears to be more active in the science fiction pulp magazines. I will link to articles on both James Allen St. John and Lloyd Arthur Eschbach in the show notes. There will also be a few links to websites who have the story available for free. These will be in either ebook, PDF, or on the site itself. Thank you for watching. Pulp Crazy is located at pulpcrazy.com. We are at Pulp Crazy on Twitter. And we are also on Facebook. Thank you again for watching. Until next time.